North America, <laughs> accompanied by director Tubesock. It's Lion Blaze, Zanil, and Hockey, Northwood University. And now, the number three ranked team in North America, accompanied by Coach Huntley, it's Bullseye, Patty, and Milio, the University of Akron. We have finally made it. We have grinded the day out from 9 a.m. and onwards. And man, not often do we have a chance to see two juggernauts like this go head to head on the big stage. But here we are, the number three ranked team in the University of Akron going up against Northwood University, who's, of course, sitting at number one. What a matchup. This is set to be a best of seven just about underway. I'm not going to. Take the reins too much. I'll throw this one over to Seb and Patrick to take this one away, fellas, for the last time.
is regarded as CRL's El Clasico. Northwood versus Akron is the match that defines Collegiate Rocket League. And we get to see it here for our grand final of the Saints X Colleague Rocket League Invitational. How you feeling, man? It's been a long day. But you know what? It's been a longer day for both of these teams as well. You know, Northwood playing in almost every overtime imaginable. Akron off to a poor start in the group stage, and then they claw their way back into this tournament, going through anybody and everybody. So not to, you know, these are the two best teams. And going into it, I expected this was probably going to be the outcome. You know, early in the tournament, thought that was not going to happen, yeah. but it just shows why these players are the best and why they are here on the stage right now. I mean, so many of these players, especially Akron, have had to work for their position. Northwood have been so dominant throughout. Yes, we've had some close calls, but at the end of the day, as the adage goes, it's just Northwood. You know, Northwood is the be all death taxes and Northwood winning a grand final. And of course, Akron will look to put a stop to that. Now, as far as the confidence that Akron are going into this, honestly, there's only so much confidence you can have. You can go in and just play your game and really that's all you can do against a team like Northwood but that's not to say that Akron haven't played Northwood close in the past on my own personal channel uh, where I feature show matches for different collegiate teams Akron and Northwood went a full best of seven in a uh, full best of seven and Northwood came out on top but it was barely so last second goal it was insane however Akron will have a chance at redemption here against Northwood as we get going into our grand finals between Northwood and Akron. And right now, tensions running high right off the rip, and they are going to be that way for the rest of this series. Lion Blaze with, I believe, an open net hockey running interference. Can he try to get something Got going? Zanil, the 50, but the two Akron players forming a band together, making sure that they don't give up that first goal. They survive a close one. Yeah, if there's one time that you want to double commit, it's on a save like that where you have two members of Northwood both advancing to try and attempt demos. This one might no be way. pitched through Lion Blaze. Who else but? Just the control is absolutely sublime. Taking it up the sidewall, he's going to get behind one defender. And just the ability to kind of force that flip to just kind of get the ball killed right inside the perfect position. Beautiful play by Lion Blaze Pro proves why he's one of the best, if not the best player in CRL right now. Northwood take a 1-0 lead. So with Northwood taking the 1-0 lead, it makes it very easy for them. They don't have to come from behind, but Akron still have a chance. Akron struggling all day against high paced teams but able to do well against more defensive teams. So I think this Northwood team is going to be a real shock to how they want to play, especially since they've been playing a team like St. Clair, which is so defensively tight, so locked down pressure, that they're not going to be used to being on the back end as much. They're going to have to adapt to how Northwood are going to play. Right, but I mean, they found the key to cracking St. Clair's code, so hopefully they can try to go the other way. But Northwood is another beast, right? It's just someone who, you know, this team has such an identity that breaks teams alone by just knowing that they're playing them, let alone what actually happens in the server. Demo goes out, Patty is going to be able to find line blaze, but Milio on his own back wall has to play conservative on two Northwood attackers, line blaze with the pass out, Why? but it's not going to be found by Zanil. Oh, it might work anyway. Then takes the touch, but the Akron defender just able to get back in time. It's crazy too that they, they have such confidence that even in a pass like that, it was clearly why there was no reason to keep it going. They still go for it anyway, all the time. Zanil putting this one through for the 2-0. And if this is the way it's gonna keep going, this grand finals might be a short one. Zanil, the perfect shot, bullseye, no boost, couldn't help it. Gets as hard of a touch on the ball as he could, but it's not good enough. Northwood go up 2-0, and they have found their insurance goal. Three minutes left in the game. They have Northwood, though, and Akron not willing to die just yet. Not willing to drop this game. Three minutes remaining, still plenty of time to come back against a team like Northwood. We know that Akron, based off of motion, very emotional team. And that one will just go through completely dunked. Zanil is in the server. 
Right, and I mean, it's going to all start from the interference ran by Lion Blaze. Just forces Bullseye to go low enough so that Zanil's shot can work its way through. This is an absolute striking and offensive masterclass so far from Northwood. Akron, maybe the change is a little bit too much for this game one. Maybe they're too used to playing, of course, getting out of that St. Clair matchup. A team that's so defensively locked, as you were saying earlier, Northwood is the polar opposite, and they are just showing you how awkward they can make Akron on their own back line. Lion Blaze is taking it back to the half to try and just regain, and that will be a decent 50. Is Neil going to chase this down, even with hockey, even a borderline double commit, but they still make it work. Double commits come through. That the challenges continue hockey forcing it through the challenge just is completely one and line plays will die for it still will be in position going to pass down that will be shot on but challenged by akron it's going to be Zanil though to keep the pressure up off the ceiling now the akron defender and patty has to try to make another 50 it's going to be the save coming out from him but now a little bit awkward there two akron defenders kind of committing into the midfield leaving Patty now having to scramble on the back corner. It is going to be the Akron player in, I believe, Milio to let go of the play. Calls oh. off Patty for the shot, but the save comes in from Hockey as we stay at 3-0. Yeah, even if Akron right now get ahead of the rotation, it always feels like there's someone there to be able to challenge, to be able to catch that save. They're never truly ahead of rotation, even when they're trying to be speedy. Akron, that is a pinch that may be dangerous. Patty will be able to get the save. Hockey getting the demo and will be traded, hopefully trying to get it through. Last minute approaching, Akron have no presence. Right, I mean, Northwood are doing such a good job of drowning it out. Interference being ran by Hockey, demos the defender, and now Bullseye has to try to burn time. Milio finding a demo onto Zanil, the save out from Lion Blaze, the bump as well in the back line. Hockey gonna be able to carry down with zero boost, has to let go. Zanil having his number called for the shot, but it will be saved out. Rare moment where Northwood would be able to pull off on a moment like that. Usually they tend to pounce on missed touches of that nature. So this will be a clear line. Blaze going to have to rush back, and he does. We'll be able to get the touch and go. Zanil collecting. Zanil around one. Milio, full tank of gas. Demo for Zanil, but easily responded to by Bullseye. Very quick to do so to patch any holds, even though that is a double commit that will be punished. Still, Bullseye determined to keep it going. Shot on and oh still saved. They're so good at covering their tracks, even when they make a mistake. The rotation comes out almost picture perfect instantly and all of the defenders know exactly where they need to sit. 10 seconds left, first game goes to Northwood. They take your 1-0 series lead in a grand final. And again, this is simply just how we expected it. Even a zero second goal by Zanil to go, getting the hat trick to go in Akron. We're going to have to make some adjustments. We knew that this was going to be an issue. They went from one play style that was so stark in their way to another one that is so committed to their own way of gameplay. And it couldn't be oceans apart in terms of how you have to play them. Right. I mean, it's just that change that might be a little bit too much for them. But this is also very alarming. This is probably the most one-sided uh, Northwood game, at least that I've casted so far. This tournament, I was bringing up that Northwood, you know, we're kind of having a couple of games, well, pretty much every game that was coming close, going to OT, winning by one, you know, these la these really, really close games, and now all of a sudden it seems like they're rested, they're rejuvenated, and to me, they look like that was their best game of the tournament so far. It's definitely, I think, the most concise, which is crazy considering this is technically the second seed. Now, Patty and Emilio and Bullseye all are just trying to lock in. I think what's also crazy about it is Northwood, I mean, listen, they dropped some games during other series in round robin, but the moment that bracket comes, they lock in and rarely ever drop a game. I've never seen just such a stark contrast between bracket stage and Swiss stage slash group stage. They've just always been able to lock in when it matters most. Right, you know, it feels like that this Northwood team is just inevitable every time they move down the pitch. They have that player running interference. They have the rotations in case you have the counterattack. It really is sort of this maze that 
right now Akron needs to try to find a way out of. Patty able to find the save, but flip reset off the backboard. Can Zeal convert? No, not quite. Shot going just a little bit of a whiff there, but even just the presence alone makes defenders commit a little too far. And now Northwood have yet another attack they can try to work off of. Pass off the backboard. Lion Blaze called the number, and it's going to be answered. 1-0. You can't afford to give those back wall passes either. I mean, you've got to be able to get these touches. I understand Milius in an awkward spot, but still, you give Northwood an inch and they take a mile, they'll be able to secure the first lead in this game. And that is such a momentum, uh, you know, starter for Northwood, right? I mean, that's just the perfect start. They're able to burn a little bit of a clock with a minute gone as well. Demo play coming through, and the backboard is open yet again, but a beautiful save from Milio just scrambling back, able to find it. The flip oh, cancel wow. into the air dribbled on the ceiling touch now from Patty. The drop down will not happen though as the clear does come out. It is going to be cut that's out by no Bullseye, goal. but I don't that's think no that's goal. a very good touch. Yeah, you know, you kind of thought that he was trying to just intercept the pass, but as the ball kept flying, I mean, Sev, you called it. Yeah. Something didn't look quite right, especially when I saw Hockey and Zanil bearing down on it. I mean, and uh, you, you, you can see why he wanted to do that. He wanted to really beat that tr uh, transition and, and try and just get possession back as much as possible, even if it's in their own half, as long as they have that touch on it. Zanil's going to put another one on. That is a 3-0 just as quick. And I mean, look, as much of a mental, like, crusher as this probably is to Akron right now, which has been everything, right? You can't over... You, you can't not praise Northwood for just the high level of offense that we are witnessing right now. They're finding every single way to break down Akron's defense, which has stood up to so many of these other teams in this tournament. It simply does show why Northwood is the number one ranked team coming into this tournament and why some of these players are on these pro rosters making it deep into these C uh, in these RLCS runs. Yeah, I mean, let's remember that before they were on so many of these pro, okay, well that's one. That is one Great for Akron. And a brilliant catch as well as demo pressure from Melio, that's what they needed. We can hope, hope that this will be a change in momentum for these guys and that they really take that mental forward. And you have to make Northwood pay. That is a mistake that isn't made very often, but Line Blaze did not have the best path of that ball. So the second that drops down, Zanil committed as well. You have to make Northwood pay for rotations okay. like that. Milio looking to call his name out as well. He is going to find another one off of what I believe was a demo, yep, from Bullseye onto Lion Blaze. Beautiful play there from Akron, getting a little bit physical. Okay, okay, Milio, I see you. And is uh, working in the training packs in real time in preparation for Bundle Bash, right? <laughs> but he's been grinding and showing it here, punishing Northwood's overextension. But now this one looks like it could be dangerous. Even a redirect line blade is going to put this one directly on, but it will be in the crossbar. Hockey still keeps it dangerous. 239 and Northwood continue their onslaught in the offense as if they never left. Akron scrambling to get it out of their zone. They finally managed to get somewhat of a distance. Patty will take control and Hockey can still dives for it. Demo in the back line. Bullseye's actually going to catch two. A Three. third now as well. And that's going to be the entire team of Northwood dead. But they still come back. They still recover. They still save. Zanil's still dribbling the ball. What can't this Northwood team do? That is absurd. I've never seen just three demos go their way. Demo chasing so hard and still not net a goal. And now we see it here, even Bullseye trying to stall to leave some time for Milio to be able to do the same thing. But now I think Northwood, they've caught on. They're catching on to what Akron are trying to do and how they're trying to slow down the pace of the game. And they're preparing for it. Akron right now, you're kind of scrambling. You have a minute 43, only down by one, but as you give Northwood more and more attack opportunities, That's it. they're gonna make you pay for it. Save should come out, it is going to be Patty who's gonna find the back of that one. Pinch down from Bullseye, but it should just be a relatively easy clear for Hockey. Trying to set up line plays, but instead he sets up an Akron shooter. Offline though, back on pass. the shot. Back pass to Zanil, who will carry it out. 
good 50 from Sunil. His challenges are so perfect from Northwood right now. Every single one and every single 50 is just advancing the ball up the pitch to the point where Akron just can't rely on speed, can't rely on their challenges. What else the, can they do to stop the momentum of Northwood? And the answer is very little. The last minute will wind down. Akron slowly but surely trying to find the answer. And on zero boost, there's not much offense that you can create. Bottom corner shot, but it's not going to happen. Slightly offline hockey ball on top of this car. He's going to get demoed for his troubles. Missed touch, I believe, or no, it was a back pass to Lion Blaze. Caught out, though, by the Akron attacker. But now they're in a little bit of a okay, weird spot. Demo eye. comes out. It is going to be a weak shot, though. Pretty easily cleared out. Maybe trying to set up another offense. Should be Patty with the drop down. It's going to nick the edge of his car, though, and it's just going to set up a little more of an awkward attack. However, the ball is still in Northwood's half. But they look to clear out now, and in numbers, the interference being run down. Lively should find the back of the net here, and if he doesn't, yeah. you best believe his teammate in Zanil with the cover offense will. Yeah, the 2v1 pressure, still hockey, being able to force the movement. Even Melio, who was able to at least get somewhat within reach, just couldn't get there in time. 12 seconds, Northwood continue their reign will look to take this game unless a kickoff goal happens for Akron. But I, I'm, I'm happy though. I'm happy because we get to see Akron experiment, try out some new things to see what can slow Northwood down. What is it that can bridge this gap between these two teams? Right, but I mean, right now we're not going to find the answer because Northwood has just taken their second game up 2-0 in the series. So now Northwood two games up, two away from lifting the trophy with the lion's share of $2,650. And look at Patty. I mean, they're just, they're confused. They're not sure what to do. They look a little bit lost. Taking the time that they need to with their coach and figure out what kind of adjustments need to be made. And right now, when I look at the faces of the guys on Akron, it really reminds me of what I was seeing when I was sitting on the uh, the stage floor watching them play St. Clair in that first series. They are a mental team. We have pointed that out. You've pointed that out in, in the past in this tournament on this very stream. And you just kind of see the long looks of their faces. They need to try to get themselves out of this hole. And it's going to be very hard. The hardest task that you can ask yourself of because Northwood are just so unbearably pressuring, and it just the pressure they put on is unbelievable. Let's see though, what Akron can do to get out of it. Bullseye. I think this is where they try and test out. Oh, bullseye! But still, no one is there. there just we go. kidding, Patty. It works out. Now, with that, Akron trying to just go the boost starving route, trying to say, okay. Maybe we can just start to take away the resources in Northwood. Maybe if we do that in combination with some demos on the offensive end, we can actually get some sort of semblance of control of the pitch. That one is a dime Woo! and a second touch from Milio to confirm. Akron with the 2-0 lead. The pre-jump from Milio simply sublime. He knows exactly where the backboard read is. And right now, Akron, whatever their coach said, whatever their coach told them, maybe it wasn't long face of sorrow. Maybe they were just trying to lock in. Milio finds himself in a horrible sandwich, though, between two Northwood players, able to get out for now. Help defense comes in, and Bullseye is going to be able to make the save. Northwood keeping the pressure on somehow, but it should be a quick clear from Akron soon. Now it's important that Akron don't get in over their head. They have to stick to their game plan is trying to just control the pitch, use the boost to your advantage, make sure Northwood don't get any. Northwood taking it outside of their end, trying to recuperate a little bit, hopefully find their way to the other end. And this one could be dangerous as well. Patty just a little bit too late to the punch. Right, I mean, good defensive awareness by Hockey as well, just realizing that he can have that beat there. Bump coming out from Zanil, but I don't believe it had too much of an effect. The demo, demo out from Bullseye again, and that's the third man rushing back as Zanil, flick to deal with, but he's going to do a stellar job of that. Bang from Lion Blaze, and now back out to Hockey. That's a beautiful so passing play, so clinical, and they catch University of Akron slipping on the defensive rotation. It's 
the one missed touch from Melio went straight to Lion Blaze, straight to a clear and in an unfortunate series of events that may have opened things up for Northwood to get back into this game. We've said it before, we'll say it again. It is one thing to have a lead against Northwood. It is a completely other matter to hold it even more so now in a grand finals that haven't, they haven't lost the slightest, haven't dropped a single game, in fact, in the course of this playoff. It's going to be Emilio with trying to get a beat onto Lion Blaze, but Lion Blaze being the better of the two men on that engagement gets the save. Demos going out both ways. They finally deal with Bullseye, who has just been a wrecking ball in Northwood's back line. This should be a goal, but Patty, you Jeez. cannot. Oh, you just can't, you can't do that. You have to score that opportunity there. Akron missing out on their insurance goal, 248. They only lead by one. It's like the forbidden fruit in the Garden of Eden. The one thing you can't do is let Northwood just have a goal in their goal line. It is a goal that is so tempting to just want to score. Unfortunately, you just can't do it because it's just out of reach. Now, with Northwood still in the waiting, looking for their chance. That is a potential yep, clear line. Blaze will tie this game. So clinical, and anything past the first 30 seconds of this game has looked all Northwood on the comeback. They are going to be able to find the demo back line. Line Blaze aware of it, speed flipping to beat the defender finds the open net. And right now, if you are Akron, this game has completely flipped on its head. You need something to get yourself back into this game. Bullseye looking to do so. Air dribble pass one, not pass two though, as I believe it was Line Blaze up for the save. Emilio trying to find something in the corner. Gonna have to jump a little quicker than that though. If you want the beat, Patty able to find the corner, but he can't find the read. No, not quite going for it. Bullseye, wave dash, finds the recovery. Has the pass mid. Oh, it's going to be a touch. really awkward ball. Zanil not making a better Jeez. touch, but just enough to let Lion Blaze clear out. And now it is going to be Northwood running down the opposite end. Demo does come through though. Lucky. Can they catch them on rotation? The dunk not coming in from Bullseye. Patty with the clear into the corner, trying to find some sort of offense, but Northwood stands strong. God, there's so much trust in their rotations. It's absurd. Lion Blaze being the first man going in for demos, but then realizing that, okay, I am currently ahead of position, but trusting in Zanil to be able to get clears, to be able to keep and hold the line so that Lion Blaze can rotate back. It is all reliant on trust and positioning and communication. That is what's making Northwood so effective right now. Akron, a minute left to potentially score their first game in this series, but Northwood on the precipice of going 3-0 in the grand finals. Right, and I mean, if you are Akron right now, this must be getting scary. If you're Northwood, you must feel that it has to be coming close. You can smell it. And now, Lion Blaze with zero boost has to make a touch up top, leaving it for Hockey. Hockey with the solo has the oh, dunk no. line. Can you find a touch? Going to go for the ground. Zanil just popping it in the air, burning time. Hockey with the boost steal that might come back to bite Akron. The shot just Lion a little Blaze. high, but it's going to be the pass to Lion Blaze instead. Not a shot, never a shot. Zanil totally wanted to pass that entire time. 20 seconds left. Akron to five to find an offense. Okay, Patty, we need to see him put some work in. Chance. Sunil plays off the corner. 10 seconds left. Good demo, but that could be dangerous. Lion Blaze in the waiting. Last possession here for Northwood if they want the zero second. Looking for the 50. It's going to be in the air. Will it be cleared across? Will you be able to score? Emilio, this is your chance. Otherwise, we are going to overtime. It will still be in the air. Sunil, they're looking for it all. They want to get this one, but no, it will go to our first overtime in this best of seven. Looking at the boost numbers, I saw Zanil, the ball going to him, he picked up the 100, and I immediately just thought, oh no, don't tell me it's gonna happen like this. But the shot does come in from Akron in this overtime. Players now acting on instinct, trying to remember just what their coaches told them, calming out. They need to try to focus up here. Zanil in the corner. They have Northwood a little bit awkward, but just as I say that, a flip reset and an air dribble able to clear that ball out. Bullseye with the first touch can try to find a drop down to Patty. No, not quite. And now Akron have to run defense. Zanil 
primed, waiting for the defensive touch. Bullseye collecting 100, Lion Blaze going straight underneath. It's going to be a pass, a double commit though, even for Akron, will force the issue. Northwood trying their best to just keep Akron at bay because Akron have also been incredibly dangerous this game. And I'm wondering at this point, is Northwood just trying to play to not lose? Or is Akron just playing to hold Northwood back? We will get our answers soon enough. The shot should come through. Just it's just going to be off the crossbar. Zanil with a touch, hoping to get it to Lion Blaze, but he's going to get bumped in rotation. Emilio 100 boost trying to get the 50. Can't quite find the dunk. Lion Blaze, the better of the two men, knowing just to put it to the left. The methodical offense now from Patty trying to get a touch. Bullseye able to beat the 50. Patty, it should be beat in the air. That is going to be what happens. Dodging the demo is Bullseye. The pass out wide, no one there. And it is very, very key that Akron finds something in this offense because oh. you never know when it might be your last. They are now going to come up empty handed and now you have to play defense yet again. The demos, Lion Blaze looking for the redirects. Hockey playing it patient. Milio needs to get up there for a boost. He's just so out of rotation right now. Now he's scrambling back to be the third man to try and just get the goal. It's tending a save. Bullseye. Be able to collect himself and try and just slow things down, make some time for his teammate to regress as he solos. It's going to be Milio to just find the beat into the corner, but it is Zanil again, calm as ice. Oh yes. And now Patty. the double, maybe, no, not quite shipped out from Akron. Oh, the fake. miss, but the fake! It's going to be shot, but a beautiful save by the Northwood defender. Brilliant recognition of what was going on on the play and now on the fast break can they find anything no not quite good defensive rotation from Akron 2v1 right now though bullseye hunting for that demo still Milio can't get around the defender Patty this is your chance hockey will get the 50 230 into this overtime Akron loading up getting ready to go for another attempt Right, I mean, that's a beautiful touch there. Can Lion Blaze try to find the shooter? Playing it slow, playing it low. Bullseye recognizing exactly what the attacker was going for in Zanil, finding the save. And now Akron running offense. Bang. They have the shot that has to be in, but it's going to ring off the woodwork. And now Lion Blaze trying to set up the oh. shooter. Redirect, it's going to be just wide. It is the redirect back down the other end. Patty trying to find a touch, not quite. Bullseye has to recoup and things slow down just for a moment. Akron doing everything they can to show us why they are in this grand final in the first place. Why they came all the way here. Why they went one and two only to have the hard side of the bracket beat everyone ahead of them. And that is to even try and take a single game off of Northwood to end their undefeated streak in this playoff. Right now, Patty trying to find the beat, but that's not a good ball. You want to concede. Hockey now has control. The pass over to the, I believe Lion Blaze was trying to get the shot off, but now Lion Blaze with the beat, but a clear again. This has been absolutely stressful. The defender, can oh, he get the bump? Yes. yes, he can. It will be the goal from Bullseye, but the aerial bump comes through from Akron when what is a beautiful play. And Melio, and this is what Akron was trying to do all game, open up that zone, delete Northwood from the server. If they are going to save everything, we need to delete them. Hard delete button. And that's what Melio does to secure Akron's first game in this series. We will be 2-1 in series score. Right, and I mean, you know what? That's step one done. You've established that you're in the series, but you can't get too confident. You have to keep grounded. You have to keep going. You have to realize that you're still behind in this series. What's it going to take, and how is Northwood going to respond to the loss? Think of, think of how much it took for Akron to even get to this point. Right. Not only did they have to play like a four-minute overtime, but they had to play the best that they ever had to even come close. They had to hold Northwood at bay for close to 10 minutes to prevent them scoring. And in doing so, they were able to barely clutch away one. So we'll see if Akron has what it takes to tie up this series against the likes of Northwood. They've already done what no one has been able to in this bracket thus far, and that's take a single game. 
flip reset from Patty, and it's going to be able to find the 50s. And Neil with a beautiful touch, just popping it high. Bullseye with one with the aerial bump gets rid of him from the solo play. Emilio looking to try to read the sidewall, finding a drop down. Just trying to find a 50 into the corner or a boost steal. Finds Patty instead going up on the solo play. He's around one, can't get the shot. Zanil with a beautiful save on some incredible shadow defense. Northwood playing a little bit more spacious now and passive defensive. Look at Milo, he's literally just chilling in their net. He's like, ah, oh, okay, I'm, I'm just gonna bug it. You know, give him a little, little cross check over here, a little, little, little hip check over there. And now Patty looking for a pass. Bullseye, re-aggressing. Rotation is so clean right now from Akron, though. There's so many shots coming in through. Northwood scrambling to even get these saves. And right now, you know, you were just talking about how Melio was in the back line. And if you really want to go back and think about it, any time that Akron scores, it's because of that back line interference. I mean, before it was Bullseye finding double, I mean, hell, a triple Temo for the worries of Akron to try to find that goal. And now it's Melio just trying to find bumps in the back line. It's how you have to play against this Northwood squad. You have to make it a dirty fight in order to score some goals on them. Bullseye finding yet oh, another hockey. demo. Getting the I mean, flick. But Again, you make you make such a hard and awkward defense for Northwood, and they oh. still get out of it and move it down the other side. Let's see though, Bullseye in the driver's seat. Zanil getting a very advanced demo, but no one is on the clear. Lion Blaze will be in the position to do so. Gets over one. Zanil doing the leg work. Zanil looking to score, and he does. And again, like I said, it's just, you know, no matter what, how awkward you make Northwood feel in their own back line, you can demo a guy, you can bump a guy, but if you do not score your chance, they will go back and make you pay for it. Sunil does just that off of the interference ran by Lion Blaze, and as Lion Blaze tries to find the boost steal in the corner and gets it successfully, trying to set up Daniil for an aerial attack, but it is going to be Bullseye to be catching it out. Backboard, is it open? No, not quite. Beautiful defense on the side of hockey. Looks like Akron are starting to get a bit more confident in their solo plays, but I gotta tell them, like, this is not what made you successful in the first place. Hockey will prove just that. As Lion Blaze looking like an absolute demon with that overhead light over him. Northwood in the darkness. That one looked like it was actually a save. I'm <laughs> just saying. Yeah, just, just I don't, Does anyone else see these like, yeah, it's actually Spoots, popping like, out. Yeah, we had one from Spoots earlier in the tournament. Like Rock League changed like the, the, the goal detection or something. Like, I don't know, their goal line technology has not, at least for today, been the strongest, but. That is 10 years old. To be fair. However, Northwood, again, this does not change that they are finding the results they need to bring this home. They get the absolute brilliant, I believe it was a demo on the side of Northwood. Yep, there you hear it. It is going to be the defender getting demoed out. I believe it was Melio for Akron, and that opened up the shooting lane wide open for Northwood. Northwood running away with this run, and really, with no defense at all, kind of from Akron. I mean, they've been putting in an effort, but a lot of it has been Punishing missed touches yeah, and, and just the immediate stop from Akron, just recognizing, yeah, this was a flub. Bullseye, nothing to do. That will be a 4-0. Now this is where they discuss. This is where they figure out, okay, what made last game work? They were so on, but now they've been locked in their zone. Northwood have, you know, adjusted to the adjustments, if you will, and are faking even more, going for more demos, and there's nothing you can do. Lion plays, even looking for the second touch with no boost off the backboard. Right, and I mean the ground pinch just to even start the offense again, looking for the pass to hockey. I mean, Zanil with the shot, not quite, but it is still going to be a little bit of a tough bounce. Cleared out, and that will give Akron some breathing room. I think what we're seeing right now is definitely the result of what you were talking about. It took Akron so much to even just find that one game on Northwood that now they're kind of running out of juice and it's hard for them to kind of stay locked like this. You see them, they're frolicking in the back line. They have no idea what's going on. All three of them together on the same near post. No one far post to even play that. I mean, you just can't have that happen. Zanil is going to make you pay for that every single time. It's, it's not just Zanil, it's the entirety of Northwood. I mean, of they're course. playing off these touches and are being able to read exactly where Akron want to go. And even then, it, it just feels like Akron are panicking so much the moment that they get a touch or even a possession. Even now, I mean, 
can see Patty is trying to play that one slow, try and play off the challenge. And you can see they're attempting to what they wanted to do in the previous game, to what worked. But the moment that they're trying, Northwood aren't, aren't even giving them that opportunity. Right, and I mean, it's just that they have such a suffocating attack every time they get into the orange half. It seems like Akron just has such a hard time of finding clean clears without having one of their players at least deleted or messed with to mess up rotation. Northwood is just so good right now at hunting out those players lurking back, and they are making Akron pay each time they get a little too patient with the timing of clears. Leo trying to find a back pass to Bullseye. Will be able to do that. Bullseye over one, has the corner, but it gets cleared out just as quick from Hockey. The back wall misplay. Now Melio has to try to fake a defender out. Will do, or attacker out, sorry. Will do just that. But Hockey, Hockey should have this double tap. And as the backboard gets left open, it's another mistake defensively from Akron. Yeah, even then, it's just Hockey is going to hit that 100 times out of 100, and there's no boost, literally none on the side of Akron. There's nothing they could have done. And it's just Northwood just whittling away at your will to live in the server. Essentially with it, all of your boost, all of your positioning, all of your presence on the pitch, and maybe even one more to go. 30 seconds, that will be one more Lion Blaze securing the 7-0. Are we having fun yet? I mean, are we having fun? I'll have fun if Akron scores and makes it to Brazil. You know, I'm but if you're fun. if you're Akron, you might not even want to score. Why? I mean, the game's over. I mean, at you this point, well at this point, the biggest like alpha move you could do if you're Northwood is literally own goal. That would that would be hilarious, but also very very sad. Uh, what I will say though is you have to again tip your hat off to Northwood. This was just an absolute trouncing of the game. It wasn't no, close no at way. any certain no way. time. No way, no way, no way, no Please way, no 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 I refuse to believe that Northwood just did this on land. That's, no, that's, that's the highlight no, of the tournament. No, 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 that's of the not tournament. allowed. <laughs> Get that out of here. I know you guys can hear me. Stop doing that. This is a grand final for a trophy. That was, oh, that was so BM. That was so BM. But it's anything to get the mental advantage. Zanil, you're, you're disgusting. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> I mean, they're just laughing. They're having fun. Why? I mean, the one goal that Akron scores isn't, isn't even their own. Seb, I know, I, know, I know you guys can't see it right now, but Seb has his head in his hands. I mean, I honestly don't know how I don't either. That is the most mentally shocking game that you could ever imagine. You're already down 7-0. And then just as the game's about to end, you get the clear. Finally, some room to breathe. Oh, wait, Zanil's just going to own goal and give us a Brazil. It's great. Real, real great. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, just crumble up the paper, throw it in the bin. That one's going to be hard to come back from. Akron, trying to see if they can make it work. Only time will tell. But for Northwood, they are potentially five minutes away from winning this prize money and winning this beautiful trophy. All right, with it, Northwood on series point, grand finals point, tournament points. That, oh, that was a great, great attempt, though, for Melio. I just, I, 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 I want to know how Akron recovers. I, I, whew, you know, we talked about our, our monitor, like our fist being through our monitors. That one is just in. There's no challenge at all. Akron, no defense, as you can see, even just the ones trying to make the rotate to the three. Patty, nowhere near it. Even Lion Blaze was ready for it. Didn't want to rob it. The Kings of the North, they're going to strike yet again. They open up the scoring, and I mean, they're the best for a reason. Uh, no team has necessarily, I mean, Akron, it took so much to even just touch them, just to get a graze, just something, a little hole in the armor. But there is absolutely nothing that Akron can do now in these past couple of games. They have to accept the defeat oh, wow. there. They will, however, get a goal here. And just a quick reminder that they're telling me, hey, listen, man, this tournament, it ain't over just yet. 
I just find it hard to see how they can come back from last game. Now, listen, uh, I got to give the respect. They're obviously you have to, they're, yes. they're here for a reason. They're Akron, second. They they are yes, they are currently competing for second place, and with Northwood still in the mix, I mean, they are. It's not it's not over until the fat lady sings, and for this one. Bullseye being so deep. No boost though for Bullseye. I know that's a bit risky, but I think he's trying to steal the boost to prevent any more resources from Northwood, but it might not matter. Lion Blaze gonna put it up high. Hockey will just go for the defensive touch, keep it in that offensive zone. Double commit on the Akron side, fumbling to just try and get it out, just forcing it out, muscling it through as much as they can. And now Akron, you know, oh, you know, I was gonna say decent response, but a missed touch like that is, um, well, you'll see it. I know Seb looked down for like literally a second. You can't have that happen. Like you just can't have that happen. Grand yeah. finals. Yeah, I mean, no, I mean listen, it, it's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of is, pressure to be in a grand final, let alone on land. I mean, we've seen uh, North America lose to Europe on land uh, during CRL Worlds where, you know, Fisher was in a best of seven scenario against Dr. Booman, and they also choked. It happens to the best players in the world, and that was almost disgusting. Zanil looks to want to add to his highlight reel. Zanil even still keeping it in the offensive zone. They're playing with their food. Flip reset pass, but this will be a fake. Bullseye going for the demo again. The only man who can. There we go. And finally, Akron showcased themselves. Okay, how are they gonna come back from last game? They're showing it right now. Tried and true formula. Whenever Bullseye's in the back line, making stuff happen, demoing players, bumping, boost, stealing, Akron gets their offense on the board. They just got to keep on doing more of that. But you got to wonder, will Northwood adjust to this? Do they have something in mind? It is going to be the shot okay. coming up from Bullseye. And Akron is completely flipping this game on its head. Give them full you know, full respect. Give them full uh, acknowledgement for the fact that they are even doing this right now. I could never. And these boys are just absolutely proving the haters wrong. Going up three to two so far, looking to push the series to a potential game six. And who else but Bullseye, one of the longer standing members of Akron, taking after Buzz. Tristan, of course, not here today, but I'm sure he would have loved to have had a piece of this series and really take it to them. And I know that the moment that Northwood wins this, assuming they do, that this is going to create a monster. Akron are gonna grind like never before with Tristan, and this one might even be another. Patty giving us a 4-2 score line. And we're starting to kind of figure something out. You know, if Akron starts playing mad, maybe they start playing good. And honestly, they should be playing mad after what's been going on this entire series. So far, they are having their way with Northwood in this last minute of play. Gotta hope that they can keep it up. Oh, even Lion Blaze flubbing his flick just a little bit. Doesn't bode well for Northwood and confidence. Lion Blaze looking to play from the ceiling. Of course, Buzz or Patty is there. That's a shot in. This is why the defensive touches matter. This is why you cannot just simply hit it out and expect a teammate to be able to get the clear. You have to control it all the time because there will always be a Northwood player in the waiting. Right, and I mean, you couldn't have said it any better. You leave the ceiling, you leave the ball in front of your net, you leave your backboard unguarded. Small things that Akron has been doing against this Northwood squad this series that's really come back to bite them in the butt. So right now, Northwood trying to look as they can try to see, they can smell this comeback. We're talking about just how hard it is to hold leads against Northwood. And with a minute 48, they still do have more than enough time to mount something for them. A minute. 48 to hold a lead against Northwood. What, what is save. this save? But Melio, thank the Lord, is able to convert on this one and keep Akron's hopes alive. They get their insurance goal. It's back to 5-3 now. Minute 38 going into it. Well, if it's not going to go to seven, we can at least hope that it's going to go to six at least. At the very least, it'll go to six, hopefully, with a minute 30 remaining. See if Northwood wants to make me eat my own words there. But 
before those 90 seconds are up, Akron needs to try to make something oh, defensively no. happen. However, the miss on the backboard, that's a rare one from Northwood. The players scrambling, and it will be the clear from Akron to come through. A rare flub from Northwood again. It's just these touches, and this one might go to Lion Blades. It's going to be a clear, and he'll be in the waiting, 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 and going to be challenged. A minute remaining to Northwood. It still feels like a Grand Canyon, but Akron are slowly filling it up with water to make it that much closer to approachable. Now Zanil, still a clear. Northwood scrambling for their attempt to try and seal this one away. And you know, I'm kind of seeing the same thing on the side of Akron. You know, they are doing a good job of holding this defense, but every time a ball from Northwood comes through, it's a double commit that I'm seeing. You know, it's just they could catch Akron lacking on one of these attempts, but Northwood so far hasn't taken advantage of that. And Akron are standing tall on this defense. The pass should come through. Zanil, another pass outlet down to what should be Lion Blaze. But it's not going to happen. Lion Blaze opting to try to go for the bump instead, leaving the shot for the third man. But it won't fall through. Shot right. through, but Zanil has the save. And we should be going to, at the very least, a game six. All right, Akron. You are firmly now in this series. You have earned your place to fight against Northwood Absolutely. and take it to them. You will be going to a game six against Northwood, looking to force the game seven to Champions Field in what has been such a one-sided series for the majority of it. You now have a chance to keep it going. And you know what? What I just saw right there on the player cams means the world. They're smiling. They're having fun. They're happy. That is so good to see out of Akron because you honestly, no one would have thought that coming out of that game four, that Akron was going to win that game five. But they did, and they proved everybody, including me, wrong. Uh, so oh no. right now, in this game six, Akron, can you keep the momentum up? Again, remember, Northwood just needs to find one, and they should have their, oh, they're the knocking on the door. Though. The execution from Northwood is making me slightly worried. They're not getting the power shots they want. They're not getting the sauce that they need to put Akron away. However, they can still rely on old fundamental because even when Northwood is struggling, their floor is better than literally every other collegiate team on the planet. It requires a team that is peaking like Akron to be able to do any damage against a team like Northwood. Bulls out with the solo play. Has to try to leave it. Actually, maybe the team pinch trying to come in there but it won't happen. Zanil off the wall, using one flip, trying to get the reset. I believe he has it. No, maybe not. He's trying to opt for a low 50, but it will sweep back to that blue half wow, because Milio aggressive. does get an aggressive touch. Yeah. Akron wanting to play so aggressive on you know, that offensive end, realizing that the more that they rob Northwood, the chances of making any touch, the better it might turn out. But in this case, they're chasing just a bit too hard. Northwood secure the first goal. And I believe if it shows the goal Look at this. highlight, I mean, they got Akron just running into each other in the same corner. It's, can't be caught out like that. Nope. nope. But Northwood are, you know, Northwood aren't complaining, obviously. They put the goal up and they are up 1-0 right now. It, I almost thought it was going to be a mistouch. The demo does come through from Lion Blaze, but a beautiful save and clear out from Akron trying to find anything on the back line, but now it's going to be hockey to find the demolition. Something we haven't seen just yet right now that has been kind of the essence of Akron's offense has been Bullseye being a nuisance in the back oh. line of Northwood. But it's hard to even be there. You have to get the ball out of your own end first. And Zanil with one of the best drop down passes that you could ask for if you are the shooter in line blades. Yeah, I, I honestly, it felt more like a fake than anything. I, I don't think Patty had any idea that hockey was coming in immediately after it. I think they st thought that Zanil was just gonna go for a solo play. So hockey had no reason to come in. So he could literally hit it anywhere. The moment that he realized that hockey was coming in for that attempt right after Zanil flubbed, he knew that it was all over. So Northwood, 2-0 lead. It's not insurmountable, but the way that they are playing, it could be off the crossbar. Hockey can't get the rebound. He's going to try again. Zanil 
Northwood prepping their offense again, keeping it going. Demos coming through. Lion Blaze gonna put one on. Zanil getting the redirect. Northwood lead by three. And right now, you're seeing a champion team make championship level plays. They're not waning under the pressure. They are keeping themselves composed. And right now, they have Akron on death's door. Half a game remaining. It would take a miracle for Akron to not only come back from this deficit, but to take the game and force the game seven. It is a dream, but one that comes with difficulty. Northwood being so clutch, having so much ice in their veins to walk away with these ones. Zanil in the waiting, That's easy, sad. easy, easy for and that Northwood. Is, I mean, such an impressive job there from Hockey, finding the Cuxer pinch as well from his own back half. It's just going to be able to bounce through. I mean, just when you think you've seen it all, just when you think you have you've have everything, you've seen everything from Northwood, they come through with just that, right? I mean, this is such an unpredictable team. You never know where the shot's coming from, whether it be the, you know, the uh, product of a fake, a pass, a pinch, it's just everywhere. And right now, Northwood showing the world right. why they are the number one team in CRL. Yeah. Now, with hockey and the wing, Northwood, just back off, play a bit more passive, look for these demos to try and convert again in transition. Just play the counter-attack style as much as they can because it can be so oppressive. A pass from Hockey, Lion Blaze, a little bit too late to the punch. Patty will try and get the carry across. Bullseye will see what he can do to facilitate, but it goes immediately back, punished 5-0. And you have to really ask yourself, you know, like, Northwood, they just look so comfortable right now. Akron, they were able to make this a fighting chance, but barring a miracle, this is most likely done and dusted. The question that I have really for Akron is, you know, it's such a hard job to one, put away Northwood. Two, in the fashion of the tournament that you've had, going down early in the group stage, having to use so much energy to just fight back and claw yourself back into the series, you really have to sit here and ask yourself, could this series have gone differently if Akron just have a different start to this tournament? <laughs> they, they maybe if they had, oh, you know what? The, it sounds a bit mean, but listen, we know that Akron have the capability to beat Northwood if they have their full roster. If they have Tristan, uh, Patty, and Bullseye, that is a roster that has shown that they can be capable not only to qualify for RLCS quals and regionals, but that can take it to Northwood. And they have shown that previously. It makes me very excited because I know that Northwood winning in this fashion has created an animal in Akron. Tristan is going to come back in this team determined to take down this Northwood dynasty. And you can just write the script right here, building storylines, you can just tell. It's going to be so exciting to see these two squads face off again. But as the 30 seconds do come down to a resounding halt, last 20 to go, it is going to be Northwood to be your Saints ex-colleague RL Invitational champions. They will get the prize pool money, they will get that beautiful trophy and they have done absolutely nothing short of amazing here in this tournament to earn it. It's been a long road for these gents, but even with an own goal to wrap things up, they don't care. They're having fun. Northwood will once again, as always, be your winners here. Undefeated in this tournament, 5-1 against Akron. They will be your winners in the Saints X colleague Rocket League Invitational winner of the Lions share of $2,650. They continue their reign as the best CRL team in America and at some point the world. This is the best team ever assembled for good reason. This is an undefeated team that will continue to be so for a good while, I imagine. A phenomenal effort, but with Akron sitting there. 
I have to give a huge shout out. I don't think anyone was expecting them to do this well against Akron, considering this is a mixture of Akron Gold and Akron Blue. But the fact that they were able to come back from adversity in the way that they did, from getting embarrassed in some games, to be able to take it to Northwood is a commendable achievement. And I can't say it any better. I mean, you have to, you have to give it to Akron. Not having their full roster, they have a horrible start to the group stage, their mental's down in the gutter, and they somehow use the rest of their energy to pull this one back from the depths, get into the playoffs, uh, into, sorry, into the grand finals of the playoffs, find a couple games on Northwood. No other squad here would have been able to do it. Yeah, now... They're just going to be packing up, but I believe we have some replays to be had. I think with this match, I'm 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 looking forward more than anything to the future stories because, uh, again, with with Northwood and Akron, to anyone who's been watching CRL for a good period of time, this is our classic match. This is the one that, regardless of who is most dominant in that period of time, regardless of who wins, it will always result in an entertaining match of some kind. It will rarely ever be a boring match that continues to be the case here between these two teams. Even when Northwood is at its most dominant, Akron still find a way to show up and try and make it entertaining for those of us who love CRL. So I hope to see them more in the future. I have no doubt that with the Akron Blue roster they have, they will continue to be a contender against Northwood. And you got to imagine, right? I mean, all, with the right lineup on the right day, very well could upset here. But it is going to be the tale of the tape that Northwood are your champions, and for right reason. I mean, we look at the highlights. They just had Akron on a string for most of this series. I know the two games Akron were able to take back were very good. They were able to get the OT thriller. But for the most part, Northwood just so, so concise, so accurate. Barely any flaws in their gameplay, at least in their offense, you just you couldn't have imagined it any other way. I mean, they, they are showing their pedigree as to why they have, you know, so many RLCS players that have continuously gotten better. It's The thing is, it's it's one thing to build a team with RLCS players. Fisher is a perfect example where we have Sosi Mu or Sosi Mu Sosa, Sosa Money and Kinsey. Yeah. And those are, you know, RLCS level talent, especially when they got signed. They were still incredibly good. Kinsey was a great player. But... With Northwood in particular, it's been the growth of these players. We I've seen I've been watching Lion Blaze for a long time since his his initial days. Uh, you know, even before Ghost, when he was still a one v one guy, I've been watching hockey for a long time. Zanil has been around for a long time, and we've been able to see them grow as professional players through collegiate. It's why it's been so amazing because hockey for a long time was just known as that collegiate player that also happened to play some pro. Lion Blaze was like that good that really good pro that was in collegiate but through the work that they put in through the work that they put in the off season through hey bro and tsm and omelet they've been able to grow to become top caliber players and they are showing exactly why here and why it's made them better collegiate players with that being said that is the end of this tournament before we send things off to the stage thank you so much for casting with me patrick any last words um, I mean, for one, thank you for coming down. Seb means the world as well. You know, I've, uh, I've watched CRL in the past. I've seen you and your work. It's inspiring. And uh, it's one of the reasons why we do what we do here, why casters like to talk, you know, talk men like us. It's our job. It's our role. We love to yap. So it's been an absolute honor casting alongside with you and uh, couldn't have thanked you anymore and uh, wouldn't have it any other way. Thank you. No, I, that, that means a lot. You know, I, I came to, I. I come down here specifically just because I, I want to support like the Canadian scene as much as I can, along with like St. Clair and, um, you know, because I know that Canada Rocket League has so much to offer. Um, and it, it has been really a beautiful, you know, tournament and journey. And I love coming down here every single time. Um, so thank you, of course, to St. Clair. Thanks for running this amazing event. Thank you, colleague, as well, for continuing to support Collegiate Rocket League. Um, it's been a great bracket. And with that, we will be sending it to our stage in just a sec. But before we do, I want to wish you a good night, a good weekend. Love you. Let's send it to the stage.
And here we have our grand final champions of the Saints Call League Rocket League Invitational, Northwood University. <laughs> now, uh, I want to talk to you first, Lion. Um, a perfect record throughout um, this entire tournament. What went right for you guys? Honestly, just our vibes. We were having fun. We knew we were, you know, the best team here first seed for a reason. We just showed up and played our game. Like that. And Zunil, I haven't talked to you yet uh, this tournament, um, but what are your thoughts, you know, running through group play? Um, didn't have too much of a challenge through that, but as you got deeper in the bracket, teams started to give you a hard time. How'd you guys work through it? Uh, I mean, we just took it slow. I think this last series was probably like the hardest or the, the first one that kind of actually gave us like a challenge that we had to like lock in for every game. But we were still having fun. Like I was calling the psycho, sometimes on goaling, but we didn't care. We were just having fun, and it it kept us like motivated and playing well and trusting each other. And that's the biggest part is trusting each other. So yeah. Well, hockey. Uh, you know, we talked a little bit earlier too. You guys are a confident group to say the least. Um, what's next for this team? Um, well, if CRL does happen, obviously CRL Worlds and League Play. But if that doesn't happen, then other tournaments probably. All right, Northwood looking to keep the tournament winnings going. And uh, last but not least, uh, TubeSock, you've, you've been able to watch these guys from outside of the game. Uh, what makes this team so good? I don't, I mean, a part of it is just their, you know, their skill and mechanical just crackness. I mean, these dudes have been, well, I mean, all of you guys are basically pro at this point. You know, all of you guys qualified in the last, you know, qual open qualifier, made top eight. So, I mean, they're, they're peaking and I think they're still going. <laughs> Awesome. Well, without further ado, I'll present you guys this beautiful trophy as champions of the Saints Colleague Rocket League Invitational. All right, well, that is going to wrap up the Saints Colleague Rocket League Invitational. What a day, what a ride setting this whole thing up. I just want to give a quick shout out to the production crew and everybody else uh, behind the camera who made this all happen. Uh, and to the viewers at home as well and everybody that came out in person, to all the teams that attended, uh, a huge thank you on behalf of all of us. We're happy to bring you this event for the second time, and we're hoping to do it for a third time. So once again, round of applause for the Grand Final Champions, Northwood University, and we hope to see you next year.